Hi, I'm Tom and in this tutorial for FreeCAD I will show you how variable sets or varset works in FreeCAD. Varset is an object in FreeCAD, in my case it's this table dimensions object and it contains user defined parameters and these parameters can influence the model. So here I've got depth and I can change it to 1000 millimeters and it changes the table. If I change the width or the height it influences the model. So in this tutorial I will show you how to create such a simple bar set. I'm using FreeCAD 1.0 in this tutorial. I will start this tutorial at a place where I finished my last tutorial about parametric table where we created a table and a spreadsheet with with these cells which can change the parameters of the of the table so we will start at this point so i recommend you to watch the tutorial that i created previously on parametric table or you can download the file that i'm starting with from the fcb lounge shop for free both links are in the description box below Okay, so I'm back in FreeCAD and I will close this spreadsheet and maximize this window. And let's first create the variable set. You create it by clicking this icon on the structure toolbar. If you don't see this toolbar, it's available in all workbenches. If you don't see it, you just right click on any toolbar and you enable the structure toolbar. So. To create the variable set, I will click this button and immediately variable set is created and I'm asked to create my first parameter uh, with this add property. So I will add the name and it will be depth and I, have, I can choose a group or name a new group but base is okay for me and the type is important because you got an option of types of parameters that FreeCAD can use and it's important to use the correct type so for uh, these length uh, it will be property length so I will choose app property length and this value is the default value that it will, it will be assigned so for depth I will type in um, I will type in 800 as in millimeters and you can also add a tooltip. Now I will hit OK. The var set is created and if I click on it you can see that it has got the, the depth assigned. Now I will also rename the var set so I know what it is. So I will hit F2 here and name it dimensions of table so this is my this is my label if you want to add another parameter which I want so I will double click and this creates a new parameter which will be length and the property is already selected if I click here it offers me the value so I will type in default value let's say 1400 I'm using millimeters and I will add another uh, property and that will be height and again the height I will set to default 700 millimeters so I've got all my parameters here and I can easily change those parameters by selecting the var set and change clicking here and changing the value as it is but you can see that if I change the parameter, nothing changes in my on my table because it's still linked to the to the cells in this spreadsheet. So I want to go into my model and assign the parameters to influence values which I want. So I know that this sketch is the basic size of the table. So I will double click it. So I'm inside of the sketch and if i double click this dimension you can see that it has got already assigned 
a uh, expression so I will click on this button to change the expression and it's looking into the spreadsheet but now I want to look into my var set so I will delete this and I know my var set's name is dimensions of table so I will type in dim and I'm immediately offered objects which have dim in their names and you can see that the dimensions of the table is the name of my var set so I will select this one the dot is placed here after the name of the var set and now I know this is the length so I will type in LE and it offers me the parameter which starts with LE from that var set so it's length so I will select length this is nice so I will hit OK and you can see that it already read the length parameter from our var set so I will hit OK this is binded now also this depth needs to be binded so I will double click it I will click on this on this expression uh, icon delete the link to the spreadsheet and again type in dimensions of table dot and now it will be depth and hit OK and OK and I will hit close and you can see now that if I go in my model to the dimensions of table and change the depth to 1000 the table size changes and also the length if I change the parameter it changes like so so what I need to change is the height and this was uh, this is in the in the sketch position and it's the attachment of offset position and here it's the Z position so I will click here click the expression editor and again delete from here and type in dimensions again first the name of the var set then dot and then the name of the parameter height hit OK now if I click here you can see that if I change the height the table changes accordingly what I can do now is delete the spreadsheet from the original tutorial because I don't need it anymore now what's nice about the variable set compared to the spreadsheet is that I can move this object into the body. I cannot move it into the BIM objects but into the body. So now it's like uh, outside of the, of the tree but I can drop it into the body. So now if the body is closed here I don't have the variable set uh, inside, of my, inside of my project tree. And I can easily see that if I open the body this is the variable set that uh, that influences that influences the body another advantage of, of using variable set instead of spreadsheets is the performance because variable sets are more performant than spreadsheets another advantage of variable set in my use case that is when i use it uh, for a bim equipment is that when i place this table inside of another project the variable set is inside of the tree of the table so it's not outside as the spreadsheet so you can see if I open another project here and I want to place the table here I will go to this table copy with control C the table hit OK go to the project hit control V the table is here and now I can actually move it like so into the into the correct place and there's in this project you see there's no spreadsheet here so if i want to change the size of the table i will expand the tree of the table go to the var set and change the change the dimensions of the table like so which is which is really nice so this is it about the basics of variable sets creation. If you find tutorials by FCB Lounge useful, consider supporting the channel by donating through the Ko-Fi page. The link to the donate page is in the description box below. I hope this was helpful and I will see you in the next one.